Thunder Rome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, uh, you know, I always say I want to keep it short and shit, but, you know, I was, uh, obviously, you know, uh, taking some notes while watching the, uh, AJ Molina fight, and I watched it a few times already, because I wanted to say some things right off the bat that maybe I would have not agreed with, uh, you know, as soon as, like, tomorrow or something, you know? So I watched it a few times already. Um, it's, shit, it's about one right now. I mean, I got the Charlo card on pause, and then I got also recording the uh, Crawford one, so I'm going to watch all them, but, um, and I'll be up all night, so it's not a problem. I'll be pumping out the vids, but they'll just be a little later. Um, but this fight in particular because of the, the, the Klitschko deal, right? Um, first of all, if you don't know, um, Anthony Joshua won by third-round knockout over Carlos Molina, or third-round TKO, right? The ref stopped it. Um, well, I guess... I guess I'll just go in order of uh, on my notes, on, on, honestly. Um... And the, the, I don't have, like, I didn't score. I wasn't going to even score because I figured it would end in a KO. Um, and the notes I had from the first one, I just tossed and, you know, wrote some other shit down the second and third time I watched it. Um, what should I talk about first? No, no, ac actually, no, I know what I want to talk about first. All right, the question that was posed, um to uh, Anthony Joshua afterwards. They asked, um, wh whoever that dude was, um, asked uh, AJ if Molina was fighting kind of, and Molina did not come to lay down. He came to fucking win, and he came in, to, you know, uh, about as good a shape as he possibly can. All right? Um... In my opinion, that was the best shape he was ever in. Um, and he did not come to lay down because when he got hit with that right hand, he could have just stayed down. No one would have said shit, okay? He could have just closed his eyes or whatever. Just He could have just stayed the fuck down, period, you know? Um, or got up and fake wobbled. I mean, come on, man. We, we know what the, what, the, what the business is. But um, he didn't. He wanted to win, Okay. But that dude had the nerve to ask him, did, uh, you know, was Molina, you know, not, uh, as aggressive as he was, what he really meant was, was, you know, in comparison to Wilder, was he not as aggressive, um, like he was with Wilder, uh, because he was scared of Anthony Joshua, or... Was it Anthony Joshua that was stopping him from being aggressive and trying to, to, you know, land a big shot, okay? And he tried a couple times. He tried several times, you know. It just never fucking worked. Um, and the answer to that is so easy. AJ shut that motherfucker down, okay? And it took about a round, and the guy knew that he, you know, Molina knew that uh, he was pretty much screwed and he had to start taking some major chances because he couldn't box with this guy for the simple reason that AJ was keeping the distance just perfectly, perfectly uh, to where he could always touch, touch up uh, Molina, but Molina couldn't get to him. Molina takes a step forward. He takes a step backwards, and he he was faster, way faster footed than Molina, which is pretty impressive considering that you know Molina weighed in uh, like thirteen pounds lighter, right? He was in the like two thirty seven, which if you think about it is on the high end of like the the ninety heavyweights. You know, it's like the high end of the ninety heavyweights. That's not a super. You know, you have you have you know, Deontay Wilder. He he doesn't even weigh in that much, but um, he's you know kind of toothpicky on the legs, and, stuff, and that's where a lot of you know muscle mass gets to to add weight to a lot of these heavyweights. 
Uh, that's where they derive a lot of their power from. Um, but anything that Melina tried to do, like, and he did try to go for haymakers and shit like that, which which I'll get to, but no, it was fucking AJ shutting that dude down perfectly. You know, he was constantly using the distance, making sure that, you know, Melina couldn't touch him, all right, but he could get to Melina whenever he wanted, um, or at least... You know, if Molina's starting to march forward, he'd take a little step back and bang him, right? right now, even Whether in the face or the gloves or whatever. And now, all of a sudden, Molina's like, shit, what am I supposed to do now? Okay, I can't reach him. And in the first round, he was trying to just box, but he realized that ain't working because, like I said, he was controlling the distance just fucking perfect. Perfectly. Now, I'm not, I get it, Molina... You know, fucking C-level fighter, in my opinion. C-level guy. That's it. You know, the version that Wilder fought is not a C-level fighter, in my opinion. I don't think that was a C-level fighter. You know, I think that was like a C-minus level fighter. That was a C-level fighter with a half a camp. He had, you know, he said it himself. He only had one month to train. And some of that time, he had to do promotional shit. You know, like... Fly here, do a little tour, fly here, do a little fucking, you know, interviews, all that. Now, you know, it takes days out of your camp. You had a little less than a month to get ready for that fight. Now, if you remember, if you're following Melina after that, um, he, he went right back into the gym, you know, um, right back into the gym. In fact, he's been fighting, like, pretty fucking regularly uh, since that loss. Um, I actually have his boxer right here. Let me, hold on, let me pull, pull it up real quick. All right, he lost the Wilder June of uh, 2015. And October of 2015, he gets a bounce back win against uh, uh, Rodrigo Ray, who was like... Oh, I thought it said 5-8. and eight. It says 5-0. and zero. Five, five zero with one draw. Uh, I'm sure the five guys he beat were total tomato cans. I, I would be willing to damn near bet anything because it was just a bounce back win. Uh, but then he gets the Adamek fight in April of 2016, you know. And then he just got the Joshua fight right now in December, you know, December 10th of 2016. So it's really like every six months he's fighting, you know. Like this one was obviously eight months, but... You know, you, you get the idea. He, he's been staying active, you know, um, at least, two, you know, two, at least two fights a year. Um, but the thing is, from the moment he lost to Wilder, he fought uh, that Rodrigo Ray dude and was in much better condition. You know, he never really left the gym ever since then. And, you know, Thomas Adamek, again, much better shape, much better shape than he was... Um, much better version of Molina than the one that uh, Wilder fought, you know, because they hit him with the fucking short notice bullshit and then made him do some traveling too. Um, AJ, you know, he knew he had this fight for a while. You know, he got the full entire training camp, full camp, and he was already in good shape going into this fight because he didn't let himself get all fucking fat. I don't know why he did for Wilder. Let's see when the last time he was fought before Wilder. Um, he fought five months before Wilder. Um, I don't, I don't get that. And then he fought, uh, fought five months before that, too. So there was no reason for him to be that out of shape. I don't know why he did that. Um, fucked himself all up because he had a chance of a lifetime. Chance of a lifetime. I think he should have flat out knocked Wilder out, uh, <clears throat> even all fat and shit like he was, you know? Just because he had him on Queer Street, and all he had to do was throw one more fucking punch. Throw your biggest, baddest left hook, your biggest, whatever your fastest, most powerful shot is, rip it, you know? Because he was out on his feet, you know? And you crack him, crack him, boom, he's going down. He gets up, you jump all over him, start swinging right for that head. 
focus though. Don't go wild and start flailing because now you might run into some dumb shit or he might get time to recover, grab you, clinch you. So you want to, you know, really, really focus on not allowing him to do anything while you keep punching him over and over and the ref will just stop the shit. Boom. You're new champion of the fucking world. All fat and shit where the belt won't even fit around your waist, you know. But he didn't do that. It's like he hit him and it was like scared to hit him again. You know what I mean? Like he had some silent agreement where like, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll put on a good show, but I won't, I won't beat your champ. You know what I mean? And he, you know, hit him and, you know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know why he did what he did. It makes no sense to me. Um, but AJ keeping that distance so fucking perfectly and, and, and constantly fainting him too. You know, so anytime and he's, the, the feints worked so good because of, you know, the distance and how he was, you know, constantly jabbing the shit out of Molina. You know, so every feint he figured it was a jab, and he was like, oh, shit, you know, it's not like he was like, of course he was scared to get cracked, because he didn't know what, you know, because he was throwing combos as well, so, you know, he didn't know what was going to exactly come, but he wanted to find a way in. Now, what if he, you know, just puts his guard up, bobs and weaves, and tries to get inside and explode? Well, guess what? I don't care if Joshua is... Way fucking big year, bigger. <laughs> I almost said big year. I was just listen, listening to Biggie. Uh, way fucking bigger. Um, he's way faster. Way faster. Especially his fucking feet. Okay? And his reflexes. So, and, you know, almost like, 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 like his, almost his intuition. You know, when, when you're, when he was coming at him, he knew it was coming every time. You know, so if you would have done some shit, tried to be like, you know, Mike Tyson and get low and hurry up and swoop under a jab and explode, he would have just jumped back so fast, either popped him with a jab or, you know, left hooked him, uppercut. I mean, he, he could have did whatever he wanted, you know, two-piece combo, uppercut right hook, uppercut left hook, or right uppercut left hook. You know what I mean? Come on, man. He could have just ate him up. So he, he knew better than to do that. And after the first round, he knew he was really in trouble. So he was going to have to take some chances. And that's when he started taking them. But that's what also cost him. You know what I mean? So, he was, AJ was constantly in his range. And keeping Molina to where he was out of range. He couldn't fucking reach Wilder ever. Wilder, he couldn't reach AJ ever, he wouldn't allow him to, you know, yeah, of course, some shit touched him up here and there, but, you know, uh, mostly just to the body, you know, he was really good with uh, avoiding anything to the head, um, now, when you're doing that, and this guy literally can't touch you, because you're controlling range so well, you are applying pressure, you're constantly, you know, tagging him up, tap, 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 boom, left hook, you know, and then it got to the point where, you know, Molina started uh, overextending himself when reaching for shots, and he would overreach for shots, like, reach, because if he threw a regular left hook, oh, he's gone, you know, so he had to reach, and that was leaving himself open for big counter shots, he's lucky he didn't run into something very fucking nasty because, you know, that's what Wilder wanted. That's what Wilder, or, or Wilder, why do I keep saying that? That's what uh, AJ actually wanted. You know, he wanted to get him to run into a big ass counter shot. Get him to reach, boop, big right hand over the top, big left hook, big uppercut, like a highlight reel type KO thing, you know? Um, and I think he still got a highlight reel out of it. Um, not as beautiful as, like, knocking a guy straight fucking dead for a few seconds or a few minutes or whatever. But it's, you know, it's definitely going to make the highlight reel. That's for sure. Um, and, um, you know, AJ kept pumping that jab. 
kept humping that jab and, and using his footwork. Uh, and his footwork was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm telling you, go back and watch it. Uh, you'll be extremely impressed. Extremely impressed. Um, the, it, and it's not just, first of all, the, the footwork was extremely fundamentally sound. Um, it was, uh, uh, you know, proper, you know, done, done properly, the technique of the footwork, but it was also done very fast for someone his size uh, that you don't see that, man. You do not see that. This kid is just, this kid's something special. Okay. And like, like I'm saying, the, the, I wanted to say some things. I'm going to say them either way, but this fucking kid is special. Um, I, st I don't know where he's going to go in his career or whatever just yet because he got to do it, but he has all the gifts to do it. And it seems like he got the right mindset, too. Um, you know, AJ kept pumping that jab and um, looking for Molina to, to open up so he could really deliver the power shots. You know, which is what you do. You tap it sometimes, tap it, and then bang it sometimes. And then he'd rip one to the body, uh, like a power shot, like a hook to the body. Um, I love that one time when he jabbed him clean to the face. His head went straight back so he couldn't even see what was coming. And AJ just went, boom, and hit him with a straight right, straight in the solar plexus. I don't know how the kid took it. Because he didn't even see it fucking coming. I mean, that had to have taken the wind right out of him. Right out of him. It had to have hurt him much better than that double left hook, which, you know, where he attempted to fucking headbutt and all that shit. Um, which, actually, let's talk about that. Um, <sighs> it was, what, there was like 30, it's, a, it's around the 32nd mark of the, like, there's 30 seconds left in, in in the first round, like somewhere between 45 and 30 seconds left. Um, Molina opened up, but he opened up in a way where he didn't commit. You know, he he didn't commit very well, and, and he was like a little like hesitant -y, you know I don't, know I don't know if that's a word but you know he was a little hesitant with with, with with him opening up but he took that chance and it fucking backfired on him flat out backfired on him and um cost him AJ whacked him with a double left hook you know ripped to the body bam came right up top boom right in the head just like I would have loved to have seen Gossiev do uh last week um Versus Lebedev, I kept saying, where's where's the fucking double left hook, man? You know, double that left hook up, and this fight's over. Over. You ain't even got to worry about them damn judges. He's lucky he won. Otherwise, he'd be kicking himself in the ass. He didn't fucking do what AJ did, you know? Um, but AJ, yeah, wax him with the double left hook. One to the body, one up top. And it hurts. Like, Molina's fucked up bad. I don't know if it was the body shot or the head shot. I think it was the body shot that really fucked him up. Because um, <clears throat> he immediately dove at AJ and latched onto him, you know, like like, like Andre fucking Ward, honestly. It's like he must have been watching Ward Kovalev all week or something. Because um, he latched on, and when I got, and boom, tried to headbutt him. Tried to headbutt AJ 1,000% on purpose because I watched it numerous times. He definitely, definitely tried to headbutt him on purpose and the ref busted his ass right then and there. And I want to also give props to, you know, I want to give props to Molina for coming to fucking win. First of all, uh, take away some of the props for his dirty tactics, but... Uh, major props for him for actually coming to win, not just lay down for a goddamn paycheck like fucking bitch ass Charles Martin. Um, you know, you know, you know, no, he came to win. Um, you know, he just could only take what he could take. You know, uh, and uh, I wanna, oh, <laughs> I'll get to AJ. Don't worry about that. But obviously, that referee deserves a ton of props. 
he ref that fight exactly like a ref is supposed to. And I don't want to hear fucking nothing about that ref showed favoritism towards Anthony Joshua. You know, first of all, it, factually, the fuck he did. Um, cause Anthony, Anthony Joshua never did it anything dirty, um, you know, he wasn't doing, you know, no bullshit, he wasn't trying to fucking elbow, wasn't trying to low blow, wasn't trying to headbow, wasn't clenching, he was just boxing within the rules, and boxing at a very high fucking level, okay, um, and, and I'll get to all that, you know, that's just, just what it was, he was boxing, and this other guy, you know, Molina, couldn't hang with him, try to cheat, which is what usually fucking happens, you know, when you're getting spanked, you, you get frustrated, you know, someone cracked you in your face fucking 20, 30 times, bangs your body, hurt, hurt like fuck, you want to hit him as hard as you fucking can, but you know you can't, because he keeps fucking slipping or getting out of the way of everything you throw, so you figure, clinch him, let me headbutt him, you know, uh, Ortiz, Floyd Mayweather, right, uh, Andre Ward, Kovalev, you know, the list goes on and on, I mean, come on, um, Salido and Vargas, but Salido, some, some of these guys do it, no, even if they're winning the fight, they still can't help but fucking foul, it's crazy, um, but the whip fight, I mean, yeah. well, it is what it is, man. The guy definitely tried to foul because he was getting fucking frustrated. He was getting cracked so much, and he couldn't land something. He wanted to fucking hit AJ and hit him hard, you know. So he figured maybe I'll headbutt the guy to make me feel better, or maybe if I headbutt, I can cut his eye, or and that might give me a chance, you know, something. But it didn't work, and the ref caught him instantly and warned the shit out of him. You know, basically, like, it should honestly be you get caught trying to throw a headbutt or even attempting a headbutt. I hate when guys throw a jab to where it goes nowhere. It's not even aiming at the guy's face. They'll throw a jab down here and just dive in. Like, Holyfield was the master at it. You know, he, he'd have his hands out and be like, Rah! and just dive in and boom, you know, right in your fucking face, right in your head. Because you're having your chin tucked and then BAM! Right in your eyeball. Split, you know, hematoma, whatever it is, right? Uh, well, he's not that talented. Well, he ain't talented enough and AJ's was too, AJ was just too big for him, first of all, so that headbutt shit wasn't going to work. Um, but, if a referee fucking catches you doing that, like, first of all, first thing they should say is, that shit ain't happening in my ring. That, that's how you, you know, you can end a fighter's career, a la Mikkel Kessler, who actually, you know, as Maxwell Bear brought up in his old video, which I've talked about before as well, me and him have talked about many times, he brought up the, the headbutt from Andre Ward partially blinded him in one eye, and, you know, it was getting worse, it kept getting worse throughout his career, you know. Um, not from the punches he took in it, just be, it's going to get worse for the rest of his life. He'll be fully blind in that eye, you know, before he passes away or whatever. Not, he's not enough because he's going to keep getting punched in it. No, just because of when Andre Ward headbutted him, it fucked his eye up that bad. Alright? And I bet you do that shit again, two fucking points. Two fucking points. You know, you're rough. You can do what you want. Um two points, I'll take two, and I see you try to elbow a motherfucker, same thing, that that can ruin an end a man's career, I remember the, you know, the, the time when Andre Ward threw that elbow fucking 80 miles an hour, right at Beaker's, uh, like right, like right here, you know, to where it would have, it would have cracked right, blow, that would have, oh my god, that first of all, one of them bone fragments could have stabbed him in the eye, um, could have blinded him for the rest of his life, uh, could have definitely ended his career very easily, very, very easily, um, 
every time, you know, you break an orbital bone, there's a good chance your career's over right then and there. Um, so we have to still see what happens with Kell Brook. Um, the doctor said that he should be able to fix his to where it's nothing. And uh, he, he'll, he'll be fine forever, but you never know. Uh, look at Margarito, you know. Um, he had to actually have his paperwork fucking basically fudged and a little payola spread around for him to rematch uh, Miguel Cotto. But first, you know, he obviously had to fight uh, uh, Roberto Garcia. None of those fights should happen. He was, he was pretty much blind in the one eye. Um, he was more than half blind in one eye because of what Pacquiao did to him. Broke his orbital bone, all right? So, you know, I see a guy, if I'm a ref, and I see a guy, what the fuck? No. If I'm a ref and I see a guy try to throw a bow or a headbutt, I'm telling him stop, obviously. Don't you dare try it again. I catch you again, I'm taking two points automatically. And if you do it again, I'm taking the two points. But that's me. I'd be very stern about that shit. A low blow, I'll play that differently. I'll play that by scenario and situation and all that. But elbows and headbutts, no, 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 no. And no clinching either. And only time you can clinch is if you're so fucking hurt and, you know, you're just like, oh my god, I'm about to, I'm, I'm getting knocked out right now. So I, I gotta grab this guy and pray he doesn't, you know, rip out of this clinch and knock me out. Because that is literally the only time I was ever taught to clinch. Like, you'd be told, you know, spin, stand in the ring and just keep spinning, 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 you know, spin like 40 times until you're like, whoa, wobbling all over the place, you know, and then there's a guy in the corner, he comes right at you and attacks you. So you're totally fucking out of it, your balance is all screwed up, and you gotta find a way to, you know, clinch this guy without getting fucking smacked, right? Um, that's the only time I was ever told to clinch, the only time you ever should clinch, you know. Um, I, I can understand that if it's the way end of the fight and you guys are both gas, so you know, you throw a combo at each other and then grab onto each other, like, you know, pretend like you're wrestling, but you're really just <gasps> you know, grabbing a couple breaths and then let go and go back at it. Okay, you know, whatever. You're giving the fans a good show. Catch your breath and give us a, some more go and a good show again. Keep going. Um, but just clinching as a defensive tactic, you know, because you can't, you're not good enough to throw them hands with this guy. Well, then you're a bitch. And, and I'm, you're a bitch. You are not good enough to throw hands with this man. So if you clinch him, rather than stay wherever in the pocket, mid-range, you know, outside, if he if he's outboxing you, you better, you know, get inside on him and knock him the fuck out, or get inside and get your hits in at least, you know. Um, if he's the aggressor, you better move and box him, or be more aggressive and push his ass backwards. Um, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, and if you can't, then you gotta take your L like a motherfucking man. You don't clinch like a girl, okay? That's for a bitch. That's for a girl. That's wrong. That's for for Ronda Rousey. That's for a bitch. Simple as that. And kudos to this motherfucking ref for actually enforcing true fucking Marcus of Queensberry rules. As soon as he saw that headbutt, he made sure that dude never tried it again. All right, and he didn't. Obviously, he didn't, you know, um, but, uh, yeah, okay, and, um, Molina was, you know, he, like I said, he definitely did that out of frustration, because he was getting fucking smacked left and right, and couldn't land a good shot on AJ, um, and AJ was having fun, he was having fun in there, man, like, what this man say? This guy right here. Mike Tyson said it. The man who was having fun in that ring, doing what he loves, is going to win more than 90% of the time. And honest to God, that really is the truth. Like, if, if you're really having fun in that ring, 
He ain't losing. I'll tell you that. You sure ain't fucking losing if you're having fun. You know, I mean, you're you're having a blast. You're out there in the zone, you know, doing what you got to do. Boom. Even if it's a tough fight and you're having fun having a tough fight, chances are you'll win because you'll probably push yourself further than the other guy will. Well, yeah, I mean, come on, man. You all saw it. Um, AJ was having fun in there. Um, it's that simple. And that's why he was looking so fucking good. Um, man, you know. Uh, oh, 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 I loved how... Uh, I love it. This kid, AJ, uh, can really mix his combos up. And you, like, really well. Really well. For these new super heavyweights... I don't, I don't give a shit what anyone says. You have never seen a fucking heavyweight, uh, a, one of these super heavyweights, you know, this new generation of these fucking 6'6", 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", 6'7", 8'9", whatever the fuck these guys are. They're huge, right? Uh, 250 pounders and shit, 240 pounders, giant ass dudes, ripped, huge guys. You've never seen one as fast on their feet as Anthony Joshua. Lennox Lewis was not as fast on his feet as Anthony Joshua was. Um, and he did not have the combination punching skills that AJ does. Alright? He had a couple combos, you know, but AJ literally will, I mean, he's what I like. I mean, and, I, uh, and what, I, what I mean by that is he's He's deciding what he's doing on the fly. And why is that? Because his, his brain is extremely quick in that ring. And you can tell that by how fast he is developing. You know, what was this? Is it the 18th fight? Yeah, 18th fight, 18th straight knockouts. This was his 18th fight. And he only had 37 amateur fights and won the gold. Could you ever imagine... A kid walking into your gym, okay? He walks into your gym, trains a while, let's say on and off, you know, uh, fairly regularly, but on and off for six months and then really buckles down for a year. Uh, has several am signs up several amateur fights and you know then tries to to make it to the Olympics gets into the guy you know wins a couple of tournaments there gets him into the trials wins there he, he's going to the Olympics and wins the gold in his 37th amateur fight I'm sorry but I would never believe anybody uh, could would do that like it's it's just wild to me. That's wild, you know. I mean, that shows you that this kid is special, special. And I want to know something. Uh, this goes to the people in the UK in particular, because I'm sure you'll know a lot more about this. But even in the people to the people in the US who know all about this, um, I I need information for my own self mainly because I'm very curious and uh, maybe for f future video or whatever but it said that or they said that he split teams he had a new trainer right but the guy I guess the guy he, he's always been with them but he's the number one now right so what happened to the old number one you know and was this assistant guy who just took over the number one spot was he the one that trained him the whole time? Or was it the other guy who's gone now, I guess? Um, I would imagine he had to fire him, right? Um, and then upgraded someone to, you know, you, you're, you're number one now. Um, because somebody was making that kid develop at a rapid rate. And he still is. He still is. And this was a camp with that that the new guy um and my god you know he was fantastic in that ring 
I, I knew it would look obviously very good and knock the guy out. I didn't know it would happen, you know, so fast, and he would look so good in in doing it. Um, I just can't believe how much this kid has improved. Like that's what is just crazy to me. Um, the what? <sighs> My God, I mean, like the the like I was saying with the combination punching though, this kid can throw any combo. You he can throw any combo a fucking lightweight can throw, all right. And he throws them properly. You know, he throws punches with proper technique and everything. He's not sitting there like, you know, Floyd Mayweather when he threw a pull counter. You know, he'd have his arms down here. He you know, boom, slip the shot, or you know, he you know. And when he pulled this shit back, he would pull this arm out, and he'd be like, wide open, and then come in, hold this hand up, or he'd hold it out straight, you know, you can see all the pictures, go watch it, he'd snap it back, and then be like, bit, but this arm's way back here, instead of, you know, tucked here. He could have been like, wham, that way a left hook can't catch him, you know, and that's why, uh, <clears throat> when he fought Manny Pacquiao when I didn't know, you know, Pacquiao had a shoulder injury, I was thinking, dude, you know, come on, man, like, dude, Manny is the, 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 the guy at, you know, cracking you, if you cock a fucking punch, if you telegraph a shot, if you don't bring that shit right back to your face, you know, like a Miguel Cotto or something, where he's just like, boom, right back, you know, Boom, boom, right back, whoop, whoop, whap, right back, instantly, you know, instantly. Uh, like, okay, you're covering up constantly. It's hard to get in there. You got to, you know, you, as soon as he would throw like this, then man, he'd be like, boom, uppercut, hit him. As soon as he opened up, then whap. That's different, but, you know, M Mayweather would open up so wide that I'm thinking, okay, Manny can hit him with the... Uh, you know, a, a, a right hook, you know, it, it, he could literally set a trap to get him to try to do that shit, and then just hurry up, and wham, and then straight left, well, it's a, a mirrored image, so, you know, he would be dancing around, blink, bam, you know, or just, you know, as soon as he saw it, jab him, hard as fuck, you know, big hard jab, boom, and then whap, straight left, um, Floyd didn't do much of that, though. He really didn't commit to any punches at all. He was just kind of flickering and flickering and flickering. It was just like Bradley won. I mean, Bradley won and Maypack were damn near the same. Um, Floyd threw a bunch of shit that never fucking landed. You know, I mean, don't act like I'm an idiot. You, you can go fucking watch the videos for yourself, you dumbasses. And don't be like, oh, fucking... You gotta watch it upside down while drinking a beer bong and, you know, pissing in your pants. And I mean, you guys are so stupid. It's just you saying you don't want to see the truth, like Maxwell Bear said. You know, when the truth doesn't fit, you create your own reality. You know what I mean? Um, now, I don't know back yeah, I was injured, but uh, I remember when he fought Margarito. He stepped back. Backwards, as he's stepping backwards, you know, as, as a mirror, as he's stepping backwards, as a mirror image, I mean, as he's stepping back, Margarito's coming forward, right hook, boom, Margo steps forward, buck, boom, buckles, he don't fall, but he buckles and almost goes down, Manny can fucking smash with that right hand, um, smash with it. I mean, if you buckle iron chin as uh, Margarito while stepping backwards with your weaker hand, yeah, uh, you can fucking hurt, but you can buckle anyone and probably knock out any 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 other welterweight, because no welterweight in the world had the chin that Margarito had. It's just that simple. I mean, not even Tim Bradley had uh, Margarito's chin. That's a fucking, you know, God. I, I don't even know another welterweight right now in my mind that had a chin like that. Um, 
I remember Max Olbert telling me a story about uh, Nazim Richardson when they were, uh, Shane Mosley and them were getting ready to fight uh, Margarito. And uh, he was like, you know, I wasn't even thinking about the gloves and shit. He's like, you know, he's like, you know, I, I want them to inspect this Joker's jaw. You know what I mean? He's like, because, and I kept telling Shane, you know, don't get frustrated when you've hit this guy with everything you possibly can and it's round 12 and he's coming right at you like it's round two you know don't don't get frustrated and let him you know do what he did to Miguel Cotto broke his spirit the fuck down and he was about to do it the second time with only one eye and that's really why they stopped the fight don't tell me you weren't watching that thinking he's gonna quit again He's going to quit again, you know, and he, he was fighting it, though. Like, he wanted to quit, and then he'd be like, fuck that. And then he'd go, and then you'd see that quit come back, and then he'd be like, fuck that, let's go. But they were seeing it, too. Word came down. End that shit. End it. You know, his eyes too fucked up. Say something. Make, a, make something up. End this shit now before fucking Miguel fucking says I'm done. Because it could have happened at any moment. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. But he was talking about, like, oh, oh, I need this Joker's jaw inspected, you know. Like, I wasn't even thinking about the gloves. It's, what the fuck is in this guy's chin, man? Hey, you know, it's like a, it's like a Jake LaMotta type chin, I guess. It's probably, probably the only guy that even, you know, is probably the only guy you can, can compare him to, really. There's someone like a Jake LaMotta, um... Except Jake LaMotta did not hit, like, uh, <laughs> he did not hit, like, um, Margarito at all. Uh, he hit, he, he wasn't a very hard puncher at all. Um, you know, he, that's, I don't care, you don't believe what you're in the fucking movies, you know. Talk, listen to what the, the interviews of all the fighters who fought him. They all said he was a soft puncher. He didn't punch hard at all. He just came forward and threw a lot, you know, and he could take a lot, so he went a lot on points. I mean, he wasn't a knockout artist. He was not a knockout artist. He might have been an accumulation stop you artist type thing, but he, no, he wasn't a one one hit or quitter guy by no means. Um, he had below average power, just put it that way, below average power. Um, but he was still a monster. He was still a monster. Um, he really was. I don't know. It's a little hard to believe when you can't even really crack all that hard, but he was a monster because people knew they were going to have to go through hell to defeat this guy. Um, but anyway, back to, uh, AJ. What the fuck I want to talk about, uh... Um... Talked about the headbutt. Um, uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, AJ, AJ's jab, first of all. AJ's just jab in general. Um, yo, you, you know how, like, there's certain fighters, like, um, huh. Um, okay, say you had, if I, right, for, I'll use my, myself as an example, if I had Miguel Cotto, uh, in my gym, and I was molding him, I would, I would teach him to throw his jab exactly like he throws it, you know, he throws his jab perfectly, like, just how he should throw the jab, um, Oscar De La Hoya. Perfect. But I would never change a thing about that jab. I mean, you know, that's how it his jab should be thrown. Uh, there's certain guys like that, right? Well, AJ is clearly one of them. I would want his jab to be exactly like it is. Just like it is. Um, he throws that shit fucking perfect, you know, like, perfectly, um, 
and he doesn't like he's not like these other big heavyweights, right? Like he's gonna fight Klitschko now, right? April twenty ninth, Wembley Stadium. Um, and if you don't know, the W the vacant WBA Super is on the line along with the IBF. They got the WBA Super on the line. That's why Hearn said unification. You know, it is a unification because the, the, va- the whoever wins that fight is leaving IBF and WBA Super. Um, so the, it's on the line. Uh, Klitschko, for example, he'll sit there, you know, hand, and, and oh shit, it's like, I mean, this is orthodox for you guys. Let me back up a bit here. But he'd sit there and just jab. I mean, we've seen him fucking four rounds straight never throw a right hand. You know what I mean? Just bang, bang, you know, bang, bang, just constant jabbing you, jabbing you, take a step over, boom, take a step over, boom, avoid your right hand, take a step over, boom, you know, and then the big shit, the big right comes behind it, because they get you, he just keeps jabbing and jabbing and jab and now all of a sudden you're just worried about that fucking jab and one time you know as soon as he fires it fires it and he knows that this one's landing he's already thinking in his head because he's also quick enough to now know that's why he's been champion for so goddamn long you know so boom as soon as it lands he's already cogging this one firing it so when he pulls that one back BAM! That way, you know, as soon as this glove is leaving your face, the new one coming right in. Boom! You know, like, whap, whoop, boom! And then, like, he did that shit to walk. Um, he, he took it. He did it again several times. Took it, like, and, and you know, come on. I mean, whoo! I mean, every, everyone knows the lead right ain't shit compared to uh, a right that came from a one two. You threw the one first, then you get to put everything in that one, you know, instead of a like bat, you know, or a wham. You now you're putting the you get that, and now you're in full motion, you got all your weight back here and you can transfer it all. Boom. He took that shit. He took that shit. Like I'm not saying AJ is or anything, I'm just saying that's freakish, but the point is <clears throat> Different heavyweights, these big heavyweights, just doing jab and jab and jab and jab. And then, you know, maybe throw a boom, left hook, you know, and jab, jab, boom, you know. Or if you rush uh, Klitschko, you know, he might take a step back, plant himself, boom, because he got to have his feet planted to punch. He can't punch without his feet planted. Um... Uh, Vitaly Klitschko did not throw combos as good as uh, uh, AJ, period, period. Lennox Lewis, okay, the guy who was considered the most athletic of the, the, you know, big heavyweights and basically considered the first big heavyweight uh, or whatever, you know, he was the start of it all, basically. There was other ones, obviously. There's always been big heavyweights. You know, whether there's six 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 nine Primo Carneras and fucking J.D. Turners, whatever. But, you know, um, you know, Lennox was right in that era. He was, no, no, did not throw combos as good <laughs> as uh, A.J. does. I mean, someone please name me a big heavyweight that threw combinations as good as... Uh, as good as uh, AJ. And I don't want to hear Muhammad Ali because um, Muhammad Ali would very rarely go to the body. The only time when he was Cassius Clay, he'd dance around and pat, 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 and then, you know, bang you to the body with a jab. Bang you to the body with a jab. Like he did in the uh, first listing fight. He popped him in the belly with a jab a couple times. But he would never work, work the body. You know, um, he'd never throw like a... Uh, uh, I mean, my God, you know, like, like a, a jab up top, straight right to the, to, to the ribs, 
uh, boom, or straight right to the solar plexus, a left hook to the ribs, straight right up top, left, or another left hook up top. I mean, he'll just keep going, and he throws these combos based on, you know, where's the opening, or what punch does he think if he delivers this punch, it'll create an opening, say, on, you know, from his right hand up top. So he'll, he'll throw the left down low, but the right's going to be coming a little loopier up top. Boom! Because you're going to go like this. Uh, and bow! You know? I mean, the, the kid's very fucking intelligent. Um, I'm, I'm amazed at, at how fast this kid is developing. I mean, the Dillian White fight was, was really fun to watch. Um... Not, not well. Obviously, the one tonight I heard was fucking amazing. I still haven't gotten to see it yet. I will with a hundred percent see it tonight. Um, for whatever reason, the HBO telecast here didn't, or the the the, uh, the Showtime telecast here did not show the fucking Dillian White fight, and I didn't stream it. So I'm gonna have to go YouTube it, and I, it better be on there. Um, I fucking better be on there, or I'll, do I'll download the torrent if worse comes to worst. But, um, I mean, you gotta really think. I mean, think of another heavyweight this this size who is that fast on his feet. Um, defensive reflexes, very good. Um, obviously had great power, um, has great power. Um... Dillian White's no joke. He he took Dillian White's power and survived. I'm not saying that's you know a, a Klitschko or anything like that. That's going to be really be his true test. I, I actually think he beats Klitschko because of his feet. Um, anytime Klitschko goes to punch, just take a couple steps. He's too fast on his feet for Klitschko, as far as I'm concerned. He ain't gonna do what uh, fucking Fury did and basically stink the joint out and Klitschko stinking the joint out. I think he's going to fuck Klitschko up. I do. He's going to fuck Klitschko up. I think he fucks every heavyweight out there up. Period. Period. I, I, th I think he's the best heavyweight in the world. Um, I thought it was him or Ortiz. There's no doubt in my mind after watching, you know, the last four fights that, you know, you can see that just, dude, <sighs> the shit that, you know, Anthony Joshua is pound for pound, hands down the greatest heavyweight on earth, hands fucking down, hands down, and he isn't even near his prime yet. Not even fucking near it, man. Not even near it. Hey, let's check how old, how old this motherfucker is. Twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven. That's a, that's about right. So he'll be hitting his prime at like. 28 and a half, 29, depending on how many fights he has. Um, you know, right before, a little, little before 30, and then he'll have his prime few years, you know, four or five years, and then it'll start to slowly decline. So it happens. Um, but <clears throat> you gotta realize, this kid is, you know, my God, you know, he, he's mixing up combos tremendously. Better than any big man ever. Better than any big man ever. Like, other big men just can't do what he can do. Tyson Fury, fuck out of here. Um, he got a solid chin. He's not like a Fury, a Wild, or a Klitschko. All those guys got suspect chins. Suspect. He don't, you know. Does he have a... a, a a regular heavyweight chin? Yeah, probably. He doesn't have a fucking iron chin. If he had an iron chin, he'd probably end up being the greatest heavyweight that's ever fucking lived. Why? Because he's a goddamn monster and you wouldn't be able to knock him out and he'd be able to destroy you. You know? He's extremely fast. 
um, for for his set. He is extremely fast. Don't make don't act like he ain't. Um, the only thing is, someone like uh, Deontay Wilder might have faster hands, like fat hand speed, um, but he don't throw with proper technique at all. So if he throws with proper technique, you know, because he's kind of just like boom, 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 winging these punches. Well, AJ don't do that. AJ is a classical boxer, does everything perfect, and he can do so much. He can do so fucking much. Like, just tonight alone. Alright, just tonight alone. I mean, first of all, he's mixing up the, the, the fucking combination punching beautifully, okay? Um, really clean, hard, you know, shots. Body and head. You know, he, he knows to punch with his knuckles, not his fucking palm, not his fucking wrist. None of that bullshit, you know, he's a fucking boxer. He fights within the rules, he's not dirty, he's a boxer, you know. Um, you know, he got honor. Um, a badass, legit fucking badass. Um, now, every punch he throws is a, is, is, is a you know... Like, some fighters have, you know, like, uh, I'm trying to think of someone here, like, um, uh, shit, 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 why can't I think of anybody, um, a couple, oh, well, just either way, everyone knows this, a couple guys, you know, some guys will have a couple really, really good punches, like their best punch is their right hand, bam, or straight right is a vicious, their, their left hook, boom, it's killer, you know, they got a great left hook, um, every punch Joshua has is equal, tell me what his best punch is, huh, which punch is better than the other, is his left hook better than his right hand, you know, is his left uppercut better than his left hook, is his right uppercut better than his right hook, you know, is his jab any less valuable than any other punch? Is any of his body shots better than the other body shot? Or any shot to the head? A, 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 from a 1 to a 10, every punch is, you know, fucking damn near a 10. And I'm not playing around. Like, if you don't know what you're looking at, like, you're crazy. This kid is is super special. Super fucking special. The only thing is, if he loses to Klitschko, I don't know how he'll handle it. It might fuck him up forever. <clears throat> but it seems like he has he has the right mind, mind state to be able to handle a loss and come back even better. More dedicated and, you know, just, just better. Uh, also... Uh, I don't think he's going to fucking lose, honestly. I just don't uh, at all. Um, like, no way in hell. Uh, um, shit, shit, shit. Okay, what, what, kid, what the fuck is this kid? And this dude, this kid's jab is, like, damn near perfect. There's zero telegraph on it. Zero telegraph on it. Like, when he's out there throwing it, it he, he keeps his hands, like, right around here. You know, he likes to, he don't keep them up real high. Uh, he keeps them, you know, a little down. They, they move around, he keeps them down here. So, it's, you never know what's coming. You know, it could just be a bang, it could, you know, it could be a boom, left hook, bam, but nothing telegraphs it. Like, like, it's not like Miguel Cotto where he's, he's floating around, floating around, floating around, floating around, floating around, and then he goes, you know, he got to lean over here, and then boom, you know the left's coming. You know, boom, he's coming down, and, you know, he turns. Now you know that jab's coming. Boom. You know, it's nothing like that. It's not like, um, um, shit, who can I use here? Who can I use here? Uh, fuck. It, it, you know, Telegraster punches, like, huge? Deontay Wilder. Um, Go go watch him punch. Um, telegraphs the shit out of him. Uh, he wants to throw a big left hook. He fucking boom. You know he wants to throw a big right. He boom. 
You know, he's telegraphing every motherfucking punch. Um, you could be like, well, yo, he was popping the shit out that jab on Stavern that one night. Why you think it only happened that one night and never ever happened again versus the fucking C, C minus level fighter? Because Stavern was a dead man walking who just fucking stood there like this. Pop, pop, pop. It's the only reason. You know, we all know the illness he had and had to go to the hospital for right afterwards and stay there forever till they clear, clear, cleaned him up. You know, he could have died from that illness, not from fucking the fight. Um, he shouldn't even have been in the damn ring. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, a, a lot of guys telegraph even one punch. I don't see this kid telegraphing shit. Um, unless he's, like, got you fucked up and, like, he, you know, maybe cracked you with a right hand like he did with, what, what's his face, and then you're crouched down, so he really bends over to rip you with an uppercut. But I like how, uh, well, I'll get, I'll get to that, actually. I like how he, uh, ended the fight. Uh, it was kind of, like, Lomachenko-ish, and don't fucking dare tell me it wasn't, because, wait till I get to it, but... About what AJ can do at such a, you know, I want to say young age, but he's, what, 27, I said. Um, but just with, he has, what, 54? And this would have been 55 fights, period. Amateur and pro. 55. Amateur and pro. 37 and, what, 18, right? 55. Fucking nuts. Nuts what this kid can do in that little time. Now, I mean, it's amazing to me, man. It really is. Um, like, all right, first of all, <sighs> he doesn't telegraph any any punches, right? And they're, oh, they've obviously worked on that more than enough. His accuracy is very good. It's top notch. Top notch. Okay? Um, obviously very powerful. He has an extremely educated left hand. Like, when you're a righty, um, which, I, I mean, I believe he's a righty. I don't think he's like a converted southpaw or anything, right? Uh, he, he's a righty, but he can, you know, his left is, it's like he's been boxing for at least, you know, fucking seven years, you know, and using that left constantly, every day, because um, it doesn't look any different, like, his left uppercut looks no different than his right uppercut, his left hook to the body looks no different than his right hook to the body, um... I mean, his left hook up top don't look any different than, uh, you know, his straight right. Or, or the, the, it's all perfect. His left hand is extremely educated. Like Lomachenko's. Like Glovkin's. Like, um, Beater Bievs. Okay? And, uh, j j just look at that three right there. Those are some of the, like a two-time Olympian, a two-time Olympian, a one-time Olympian who has a fucking record of 345 and five, and tons of international fucking amateur experience fighting in fucking Cubans and Eastern Europeans fighting the best fighters in the world and has that record. Uh, yeah, that's something you learn fighting at least you know 100, 150 times. This motherfucker picked that shit up in, in 37 fights, and then however much time they've had since he's been a pro, and for 18 professional fights? <sighs> okay. Uh, okay, man. But like I'm saying, that's why I'm saying this kid is special. You know, special. So what did I, what did I say so far? Um, I, I, I remember extremely powerful. Um, oh, accurate, uh, doesn't telegraph, that's right, yeah, yeah, that's right, um, ed educated left hand, like, a uh, fucking guy who's had a extensive amateur career, or extensive, extensive professional career, 
which he said neither of. Um, um, oh, 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 ability and, and you know, understanding of range and distance um, and timing. Uh, I don't give a fuck if he's doing it versus C level fighter. Okay, I get that that was a C level fighter he fought in there, you know. Um, and yes, I do consider um, even this old Klitschko an A level fighter. I do. And I, I consider Anthony Joshua an A-level fighter, um, with, without a doubt. That's why they destroyed the C-level fighter. Um, now, uh, shit. Uh, fuck. He said, oh, f oh, my God, cutting a ring off. Cutting a ring off. He had, he had, um... Molina. He had Molina's back against the fucking ropes or the corner, like, damn near the whole fight. He just had him wherever he wanted him the whole entire fight. Molina was never where he wanted to be. No. No, no. I don't, I mean, this kid just has a very smart boxing brain, obviously, because he is picking up everything his coach is teaching him. Um, everything. Or he's like watching films and studying the shit out of these guys or something. Because, uh, I mean, you take one tiny little step forward to where now you can reach him. He's not going to sit there and play with you. So while you're taking that step, he's already like, whoop, back, and then pops you real quick. And, oh, fuck you. You know, you're fucked. Bang, bang, bang. You know, oh, gotcha. You know, it takes a step back and then over to the side. Pop, pop. You know, bang, straight to the body. You know, and it steps back over here. I mean, the, the, the kid is incredible when it, when it comes to timing, disrupting your timing, and uh, controlling range, cutting the ring off. He knows to cut that ring off on people, you know, and make it very small in their form. It, they'll gas much faster because the the mental and physical, but more mental, you know, it, that it's gonna put on him. Um, which of course he did the Molina, you know, the the that mental pressure of just this guy always being right in front of you, pumping out shots, you know, and you never know which one because he's jabbing. He's not like Klitschko, like I said, where it's gonna be you know, jab. Just jab, and he might just jab for six fucking rounds. You know, it's like bap, 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 boom, left hook, jab, boom, left hook again, jab, bam, right hand, bam, right hand. You know, jab, 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 one, two, boom. You know, and then it's like jab right to the body, left to the body, left up top, right to the body, left up top. You're like, what the fuck? Never seen a big man throw like that. He doesn't fight like a big man. He fights like a uh, um, light heavyweight. He fights like a light heavyweight. You know, like a very fucking athletic light heavyweight. Not even like your average light heavyweight. Because there's not even a light heavyweight that can do all the shit he can do. Uh, that's period. Like Kovalev can't even do all the shit that he can do. He He can't. He has his own style where he can do, you know, almost all of it and do enough of it, but no, not like uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. If this kid just had like, like, uh, trying to think here, like a Muhammad Ali type chin, it, it'd be a motherfucking rap. We'd know who the champion is for the next 20 years already. 20 years. You know, but he likes to mix it up. He does. So someone's going to catch him. Someone is going to catch him. Um, That's the best way to do it. You know, maybe he'll smarten up, but he uses defense too. You know, he doesn't fucking jab, bang, 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 boom. Oh, you get close, clinch. Nah, 
Nah, he hates that shit. He hates a fucking clincher. Okay? So, there's going to be some issues there with who they pick for a ref. Because, nah. This is the UK, bitch, and they're doing it in Wembley. They're not going to be fucking around. You know, they fucked Povetkin over in Russia. It ain't going to happen two times in a row. Like, Kovalev's going to... Kovalev, Klitschko is going to have to let them damn hands go and depend on them rather than, you know, Mr. Referee coming to save your skin every fucking time, you know? Um, trying to think of that, but, the, you know, just the, the, the kid knows how to apply that mental and physical pressure on you to just break you down fast, break you down much faster than normal, you know, because number one, you're already taking so much punishment, you're getting no time to breathe, because he's always making sure he's tapping that body, he's always making sure he's hitting you, so you're never, like, just getting to sit there for a while, <sighs> take some deep breaths, you know, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh, I mean, I am, I couldn't believe that he didn't, fucking drop when he got hit in the solar plexus like he must have seen it coming and exhaled ever so slightly when that shit hit because my god it was beautiful he jabbed him so hard his head went the whole way to fuck like like he was looking up and then boom you know the right hand whap right in the solar plexus so he shoot how the fuck can he see it coming you know and I don't know how it didn't knock the fucking wind out of him, you know. I don't know, but he was in great shape, so, you know, you, you never know, I guess. Um, I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think if I have anything else here. That's all I wrote down his footwork and his feints. Um, his power shots, especially to the body, and, you know, yeah, anyway, I want to talk about a couple of things, and I got a, couple, a question I want to ask, you know, um, first of all, uh, like I said, I wrote here, um, that, that, uh, his feints were beautiful, because he's constantly throwing, that you think every feint is fucking real, and, because he hits so hard, you're not gonna not fall for the faint. You're always gonna fall for that goddamn faint. You're always gonna fall for that faint. Because you think, hey, it might be the real one. And if you don't, now you gotta, he got a free fucking shot on you. Because, you know, if he faints the right hand like this, and, and, and you're just like, what? And you actually stick your chin out, you don't think he's just gonna be like, boom, and then send it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or if he's like, uh, and you taunt him, like, come on, hit me, before you tap your shit that second time, I guarantee his left hook's like, Bleh! and it's just, whap, and you're fucking out of there, you know, you're out, 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 out. You know, so, and, and it's not even like taunt, but, it, you know, because, you know, you just might not fall for it, though. Um... But then he just pops the real deal, too. Like, even if you're up in your guard and, and he threw something, but then you're still focused and, and, you know, you go down and bang, hit jab him in his his gut. So, you, guess what he's going to do? Jab you in your fucking face. Whap! You know? It's that simple. You know? I'm not saying he has the greatest jab ever. Um, he's not, He doesn't have, like, a Larry Holmes jab or a Muhammad Ali jab and shit like that. Um, but every punch combined... Other than Joe Lewis, um, other than Joe Lewis, uh, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, um, I mean, there's, there's, there's several, but of the big guys, of the little guys, there's a bunch, a whole bunch, actually, but, uh, of the big guys, none of them had the, the punch variety that this guy has, with the, uh, effectiveness behind those punches 
to where they're not just throwing them because like they want to pretend they have another punch. No, this guy has every punch. You know, if he fights a, a small dude, he had every punch that small dude got. Every punch the small guy got. And he might be faster than that small guy. That's no fucking joke. So, you know, these people really, uh, really, really better, uh, be on their fucking P's and Q's when they fight him. If he gets past Klitschko, that is, you know, that's a really tough fight. But I think, I think he wins that shit. I definitely think he wins. Um, he does have a lot of experience, but it, mm, man, it, I don't know. It's going to be a toughie. I mean, I, I know pound for pound that, you know, obviously, uh, AJ is a much better fighter, but he's so young, uh, and Klitschko is so, you know, so experienced, you know, he's an older dude, extremely experienced, that I don't know who, like, is gonna overcome the other one, but I'm definitely going with AJ, because I've never seen a big man like that, um, he was ringside tonight, so he was definitely scouting the shit out of him. Good for him. You know, good for him. He's going to need it. He's going to need it. This is the longest layoff Klitschko has ever had. Um, ever. Ever. He's never been off this long. From the time to till he fights in April, since his fight with Fury, it's going to be well over a year. You know, he's never been out for a year. You know, so... We'll see how that happens. I should have some rust for a few rounds at least. And I'm sorry, but, you know, and they said, uh, fuck. Never, never mind, never mind. I was thinking I heard, might have heard, heard, heard Hearn say something. I'm trying to remember, but I'm not sure, so I don't want to bring it up and sound like a jackass. Um, but, uh, uh, I guess I'm pretty much done. No, I just want to kind of go over one thing. That the Molina that AJ fought tonight, um, is the best version of uh, uh, Molina that you know, you'll ever see. Like he was in extremely good condition. Extremely good condition. Let me check out his little box right here. Thing again, right here. There we go. Click his name right here. Damn, he got down to 228 for Chris Ariola. Uh, we go. Um, well, He stays about the same way because he fluctuates pretty bad. He goes from 239 to 234 to 31, and then 240, 240, 
Yeah. I mean, eh. either way, though, the point is, like, uh, he can weigh whatever. Like, look, he weighed uh, Wilder uh, two, 239, right? But then tonight, oh, you were yesterday or whatever, 237. So he's trying to say, they're, they're trying to say that he only weighed two pounds uh, more this time. My ass. Except they are telling the truth. The thing is, muscle weighs more than fat. Okay? So, when you have uh, half of a camp, you know, less than one month, like he did for Wilder, your choice is cut all the fat off you know, and go in maybe extremely weak or something and get fucked up. Or, you know, stay the weight you're at and just focus on boxing, you know, sparring and technique and game plans and you know, all that shit. So I'd imagine they went that route, uh, which we can't be sure, you know, I should talk to them or something, but. Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, uh, but yeah, last thing I want to talk about here is that Molina was, this version of Molina that AJ fought was literally, literally at twice as good as the one Deontay Wilder fought. No fucking doubt about it. No doubt about it. There's like not even a, a chance, you know, to, 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 <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, you know, the guys were completely different. One of them had a belly to his fucking down it was fucking covering his dick and bitch tits and they're bouncing up everywhere you know surprised like I said we're gonna knock the fuck out from his titty rant smacking him in the face like areola um, yeah it's just it's just a sloppy old heavy guy who fucked Wilder up okay fucked Wilder up it took Wilder nine rounds to get rid of that motherfucker it took uh was uh, Anthony Joshua three after he was just coming off some beautiful wins, um, you know, beat the living shit out of him. Now you know it, it's like, uh, and he was attacking Wilder. Okay, like he was eight. He, he ran a couple of times. He th he turned his back and ran to the ropes and like grabbed them like they were gonna save him from getting like smacked or something. I guess he expected the ref to jump in, and let him square back up. Wh whatever, you know. He ran like a bitch too that time, but um, you know, anyway, I don't know. Whatever he, he did, do some fucked up pussy shit in that one, but he was definitely uh, attacking. Uh, attacking and uh, constantly attacking until he hurt him then he wouldn't attack and then he'd wait and then he'd hurt him again and wouldn't attack and then he'd attack and hurt him again and wouldn't attack like very weird right but uh you know he he was uh <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't uh, uh, attacking AJ man he was fucking terrified of AJ like big time fucking big time terrified of him uh, you know and it's it's not you know like attacking AJ is gonna do something um, you know uh, <sighs> AJ was like AJ, AJ was, you know, not being attacked like like how Molina wanted to attack him. He wasn't being attacked like how Wilder was being attacked because 
AJ got footwork that Wilder does not have. Wilder don't know how to get out of the way of trouble. He don't know how to box when someone's coming at you. What does he do? Ugh, get away. You know, if he's not attacking, if he's not attacking, he's... Ugh, uh, 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 shit. Shit, don't hit me, don't hit me. And then he tries to grab you or tie you up or something, right? Not AJ. He uses his feet. He'll turn your bitch ass, keep popping you. You know, if he, if he got to, he'll get down low. And, you know, slip up under you, come back up, whack you in the face. I mean, go watch the Dillian White fight. It's the shit he was doing towards the end, you know. I mean, we've never seen the best of him. And I think we probably will versus uh, Kutcher. You know, that w that still might not bring the best out of him, honestly. Um, but I think it's going to bring a hell of a lot out of him. Um, but he can handle being attacked with all the pressure in the world. You know, you can put all the pressure you want on that dude, and he's going to handle it just fine. You know, Wilder, on the other hand, you put some pressure on Wilder, he fucking freaks fucking freaks, you know, he don't know what to do, he don't know what to do, I mean, he just don't know what to do, it's just that simple, no one's ever taught him, you know, he doesn't know, you know, move your feet, how to move your feet, where to move your feet, why to throw certain punches, you know, depending on what they're doing, you know, how are they attacking you, he, he's just totally clueless, totally clueless, and AJ knows all of this. You know, he knows he, he knows it all. So it, it's kind of just, I mean, a AJ and, and Wilder fight. Um, if Wilder doesn't land some big-ass fucking giant bomb, um, all he's going to do is avoid Wilder's right hand. He's going to circle towards his left, keep that hand up so the left hook ain't bothering him. He's going to be slipping up under it, coming over top of it, banging it, you know, jabbing, jabbing jabbing, slipping, coming up, left hook, right hand, he's knocking Wilder the fuck out, like, the, the, I, I thought that Al Heyman and DeBella and that were, you know, um, did not, or they wanted to fight, uh, they wanted to cash out on, uh, Wilder, and cash out with AJ, and, you know, let AJ beat the shit out of him and make a bunch of money. But first, he's like, fuck that. I can make more money with, you know, uh, Klitschko first. He, 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 he's going to beat Klitschko, okay? He, he, he's going to beat Klitschko. I don't care how much training he's done for movers and boxing Usyk and all that shit. And he's, and Usyk ain't, no, no. Usyk is fast and maybe the best fighter on earth, whatever. But I also heard he got the fuck out on uh, Klitschko in sparring. So, you know, it is what it is. A mover, he ain't beating him. He needs a slugger. He needs a puncher. You know, he needs a, uh, you know, a, a Samuel Peter. You know, a, you know, a, a, a Povetkin. You know, he needs those kind of guys. He needs, you know, the not a Tyson Fury who's going to be moving all around. He didn't even know what to do. You know, you start moving because he has to have his feet planted. So this is all, you know, he, he, he boxes like this, right? He keeps his shit like this, right? Or he'll keep it out like this, you know. He'll keep it out. Ah, uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Bang! You know, and they'll bring it back. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, you know, so it's like... But... It, he can't let that jab go. Boom. Because he's like such a scientist. Everything has to be so perfect, so lined up, and he won't fire that punch unless it's like going to land. He makes sure everything is... He doesn't want to have uh, like a bad plus minus ratio for whatever reason. And I think he does have one because he's always peppering him stupid fucking jabs and they count them and that costs against them. Um... You know, even though a pawing jab, they don't count, but he doesn't throw a pawing one. He'll actually throw a hard one over and over just to keep you away. Um, uh, it's, you know, uh, but he can't 
get up on his toes, dance, and pop, 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 boom, 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 you know, while moving around. AJ can, okay? You think what Fury did is anything? He can do what Fury did, but like a real fighter is supposed to do it, you know? get up on his toes, move around if he has to, or he can just stand flat-footed, but just take the right steps, you know, step over here, you know, up, oh, step back, step over here, bang, bang, you know, turn, come over here, step over here, where you at now, where are you at, oh, turn over here, bang, bang, as soon as he sees you setting your feet, as soon as your feet get set, he knows you're gonna, wow, wow, move, and then right when he picks his foot up, you know, to, 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 you know, right, his feet are set now. You know, they're set. You, you just, you, you, he was going to set his foot down, you cracked him, and you moved. Now he set his feet. Now you're like over there, right? So he got to turn around like this, picks his foot up first, and then you instantly light his ass up again. Because now his foot's in the air, boom, boom, boom. And now he puts them both down again. Now move somewhere to where he can't get you again. You know, we're just back the fuck up. And when he takes a, a step forward, wham! You know, it's, I mean, this is basic boxing shit, man. You know, but somehow AJ knows this shit. It took me fucking 10 years to learn this kind of shit. You know, like to figure all this out and be able to apply it. I don't know how the hell this kid's able to do this stuff. Like, so fast. Like, it, it, I'm, that's why I'm saying. I am telling you this kid is special. If you don't see it, I don't know what to tell you, but if you know boxing, you know this kid is special. Like, I don't get, I understand he just beat a C-level fighter. Like, I saw fucking, uh, Lomachenko beat fucking, fucking Koasicha, and I knew he was fucking special. Like, God. Um, uh, I, I remember watching fucking Triple G fuck up Adama, and I knew that this guy was going to be the next middleweight king. Alright? So, you know, you don't need to, like, have an A-level fighter. Oh, he has to be an A-level fighter for me to know he's great. Um, it's, I think they're both A-level fighters, Klitschko and AJ. Um, so I think he, if, you know, either one that wins is going to have an A-level fighter on their resume. I think if Klitschko beats AJ, that's a much better win than AJ beating Klitschko, just for the historical significance and all that shit. And... This really might be for the lineal, like, uh, because didn't, um, didn't, uh, what's his face, get his license taken, right? He can't box, his license is gone, right? So he's, like, retired, right? Because you get your license taken, that, that vacates the lineal up, you know, that frees it up. Um, so he could become the... <clears throat> If Joshua and Klitschko are, you know, considered one and two by, like, uh, transnational or, I mean, this could very easily be the lineal, a new new lineage created on, on this fight. Um, and the person will have two of the four belts. Um, they'll have, uh, what, 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 what belts will they need? Who the fuck, uh, dude, um, that just won it, uh. Uh, Joseph Parker. Man, dude, dude, my God, this AJ beat the fucking brakes off of Joseph Parker. That's an easy belt to collect right there. And, uh, Wilder. All you gotta do is avoid Wilder's right hand. Keep, you know, guard up. Keep the guard up. Keep, you know, slipping under that left hook. Keep peppering him, peppering him until you plant one right on him. Because he got a glass chin like a motherfucker. Um plant something on him, he's out of there, it's, it's over, it's probably doesn't even go eight rounds, it's <laughs> actually eight, shit, if the over and under is eight rounds, you fucking bet everything you own on the under, that's all I know, because either AJ is getting knocked out before them eight rounds, or he is knocking uh, Wilder out before those eight rounds. AJ or Wilder is getting knocked out before the, the end of the eighth, and I would say it's like an 80% chance that it's fucking Wilder, okay? Uh, this is boxing here. This ain't who you like more. This is who is fucking better. And when someone is that much better than someone, 
Yeah, they're going to win fucking 80, 90% of the time. Period. Yeah, someone can always get lucky, but, you know, or not lucky, but, you know, land a great punch. But that shit happens 5, 10% of the time. It's, it's, you know, like the old say, skills pay the bills. Well, guess who got the skills in that fight? Okay, guess who got the skills in the heavyweight division? Fucking period. You know, period. AJ. Now AJ and Ortiz. AJ and Ortiz. That'd be a good one. That would be a good one. Um, they both know how to move. Um, the only thing is, AJ only got to worry about one hand. You only got to worry about that big left. He can just keep cracking them, cracking them, cracking them, cracking them, cracking them, and stepping over towards uh, uh, Ortiz's right. Cracking them, cracking them. You know, shit, if he had someone with enough jabs, I'll pop him and turn him, pop him and turn him, top him, and then just wham! Big right hook right in the face. I guarantee you, Ortiz falls like a sack of bricks. Because, dude, AJ is, hits hard enough to knock out any human being on Earth. You know, it's that simple, you know. Uh, it's that simple. Any fucking heavyweight does, especially one that athletic. Like, that dude is freakishly athletic. People use, like, Lennox Lewis is the most athletic big heavyweight ever. Not no more, buddy. That throne just got taken. Okay? That throne is taken. And I'm not saying from this fight. I've wanted to watch him for a while now, and I'm finally confident to, to say it. The guy is, without a doubt, the best big man heavyweight that's ever fucking graced this earth. Alright? Ever. And he is hands down the best pound for pound heavyweight on this fucking earth. Um, pound for pound, the only one that might be able to give him a run for his money there is Pavekin, but he's slow on his feet and uh, AJ isn't. So I would even say AJ takes that one too. Um, it's just, AJ can do it all. It's fucking weird. You know, it's like, this kid is learning, it's just such a rapid speed. You know, it's not like, oh, you're just knocking dudes dead. No, there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a method to that madness. It's because he's so damn good. Now, okay, like, this is this is a big thing here, right? right. Um, first of all, man, I got to give respect to that damn ref again. Because I forgot about this. I forgot about this. And the last round, round three. Molina um, uh, grabbed a hold of him again. He didn't try to headbutt him, but he clinched him again. The referee separated him and sternly warned him. Don't you dare fucking grab him again. Don't you dare fucking clinch in my ring again. And, you know, he, he'd do a little clinch here and hurry up and let go. But, you know, he wasn't playing around no more, man. Dude, dude would have took a point in a heartbeat. Why can't, why, why can't all referees just do their goddamn job like that guy? That guy deserves all of Bird's money, all of Bayless's money from any fucking fight he ever refs in his life. That shit should all go to the dude from tonight. Like, uh, fucking... That dude should... Every fucking... Every Jack Reese paycheck that he's ever fucking earned, that shit should be ripped from his bank account and IR, you know, IRAs, fucking, you know, 401ks, any fucking old man retirement plan, and that shit should be sent to whoever that ref was tonight for doing his goddamn job, you know, properly, you know, and not doing favors for people. Or, you know, it's fucking sickening, man. Props to that referee. Major props. Good ref. Very good ref. Um, very good ref. Uh, now, dude, even, yo, I, I, totally, I totally for a counter punch. Now that I think about it, holy shit. I, this video is getting too long. I'm mean, like ending it like right now, I really, but even fucking, uh, uh, cause you gotta be a good counter puncher to be a good pound for pound fighter, but, you know, obviously, so, AJ's a fucking great counter puncher. He was looking, he was trying to get him to open up to counter punch. I mean, that's what got the fucker in trouble, was throwing his hands. 
You know, please. When he was just covered up, you know, he was just pounding at him, trying to get him to open up. Once he, you know, he's great at, you know, counterpunching. Please. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, shit. Remember when, um, this isn't an example, but this is uh, one of the times when uh, Molina tried to attack. I think it had to have been the third round. Third, second. No, it was the second round. It was the second round. But you remember, um, he came like uh, he, he was like kind of his back against the ropes, as as most of the fight, because you know he was getting the fucking ring was getting so small on him. He must have freaked out and said, "Fuck this, I'm going for it." And he threw that big right haymaker, right? And you know, uh, fucking AJ. I'm sorry, man. I'm tired of telling you. It's like 2.30. Uh, AJ is, sees it coming from a mile away. I mean, it was you know, he should have just check left, left hook the shit out that dude and just been like, Bip! fight's over. Fuck you, go home. But I think he wanted to, you know, keep picking them apart. Um, you know, he, I think he should probably wanted as many rounds as possible if he's fighting Klitschko in April. You know, I'd even try to get another fight in versus a very tough bum. Like, a guy who can't break an egg, but can take a hell of a beating, you know, and just sit there and toy with him and practice shit. Like a tall guy. Because, you know, this this was, this fight don't get you ready for Klitschko. You know what I mean? Uh, or at least have some real good gym wars that are set up like true fights, but uh, with guys like Klitschko. But how I many? it's hard to find people like that. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, yeah, he threw a huge haymaker. And all AJ did was he saw it coming and was like, let it go. It just said, and then he goes back into his position. And that guy throws another one. And he just goes, takes a step back, lets it fly on by again. Like, like it was nothing. Saw it coming from a mile away, man. You know, so think uh, Klitschko's left hook. Like, yeah, it's not an overhand right, like that big and long, but even a big Klitschko left hook, because he brings a boom. AJ's going to see that shit coming, okay? He's going to see it coming. He's young, fast, athletic. He's, like, in the prime of his life. He's only getting better every fucking day he's in that gym clearly um he can damn near do it all what what control distance he can cut the ring off great at timing uh great at disrupting your timing great at uh good good counter punching um uh, he's fast you know, he's powerful fast feet um fast hands and feet uh, other faster hands out there, but for the heavyweight division, he got fast hands and very fast feet. Um, a m tremendous footwork. Uh, it seems like he almost has, you know, intuition. He definitely knows how to apply pressure. He he really can get into a rhythm and start fighting at a pace too. Like he's not some amateur who's gonna throw a ton of punches and gas himself out like Klitschko did. You know, he's not going to do that. No, not at all. He's going to sit there rah, 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 and then be like, fuck, threw away too many. No, he just he just keeps banging you, banging you, banging you, banging you. Has fun in there, man. Has fun in there. I mean, accurate is a motherfucker. His punches are so accurate. His combinations are, you know, just... He doesn't have, you know, like four or five favorite combinations. He just is a combination puncher. Whatever the fuck he wants to throw, whenever he sees an opening or feels if I hit you here, I'll create an opening here and then I'm going to be throwing there while like, if I'm, I'm boom, boom, you know. So hurry up and like make sure I get it right in that window. And he's smart enough to know when that window is going to be. Like, uh, <laughs> the kids... Uh, a phenomenal boxer. Phenomenal boxer, man. Phenomenal. If he gets a... I think he, I think if he beats Klitschko, he deserves to be on the pound-for-pound pound list. Dead, dead fucking serious. 
Um, in the bottom half, obviously, you know, like 8, 9, and 10 type shit. Like 9 or 10, really, because you gotta earn some shit. I understand that. Um, you gotta beat several, he several heavyweights, collect all the belts. You know, then you could definitely bump them up to, you know, 7, 6. Um, beats a couple more of the top guys out there, like three more, the next three top best guys. He has an argument for best fighter in the world, man. Pound for number one. It's possible, man. It's going to be crazy. The only thing is, it's a heavyweight division, and one punch can change everything, anytime, any fight. Anytime, any fight, as long as it ain't fucking rigged. Um, but what I wanted to, to, to ask real quick, and then I'll end in this, is uh, some people I was talking to, we were talking about, you know, like knockouts, right? And they're the ultimate way of winning, right? Leaves no room for dispute. You can't beat a knockout victory. So it was about why doesn't uh, Wilder get the same amount of props and respect that Triple G gets? Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave Triple G completely out of this because I find that personally like that just does, does not even make sense to me, and apparently it doesn't make sense to anyone in the boxing community that has anything to do with any ranking system anywhere, you know, any and every ranking system says that Triple G deserves much more credit because he fought better opposition, uh, beat them in better fashion, fought good versions of them, had full camps, they had full camps, you know, um, just, just everything, never lost, you know, multiple rounds to guys, only lost a handful of rounds his whole career, never has been hurt, never been wobbled, never been dropped, knocked every motherfucker out, 23, 23 knockouts in a row, uh, 17, 18, 19, something, 17, 18 title defenses in a fucking row, unified titles, I mean, just ridiculous shit, man. Like, Wilder ain't done shit. Wilder ain't done shit. You know what I mean? Please, you won't even fucking fight Povetkin. You know? Like, he needs to fucking hurry up and fight Povetkin. That's the fight he needs immediately. Like, whatever it is. He should just really, you know... I, I know he's negotiating with Huey. If he wants to fight Huey, he gotta fight Huey, like, on the, the weekend... Of or after whatever this uh, fucking Ber Berman, Stavern, and Povetkin are fighting. And then, boom, they should be fighting like, three months later. Tops. You know, tops. Because um, you're going to have an interim champion and a champion. And it says in the WBC rules that an interim champion is the champion. You know, and the champion is the champion. It's two champions until they fight so you know you gotta get you know whoever wins that interim that dude got to fight uh wilder like asap um just is what it is but look at this aj aj just fucking beat the hell and uh, out of a much much better version of Molina. All right, I think everyone would fucking agree on that. That the version of Molina tonight was hands down better than the version that fought uh, Wilder. Why? Well, because he's been in the gym like crazy since that loss, and he only had one fucking month, less than a month, a little less than a month to train for Wilder. And he's really been training for a year and a half for this fight. Alright? You can go look at any picture from three, four months after the Wilder fight. He's exactly the same. Looks exactly the same. I, I didn't even recognize him when I saw him, like, like all, like, like, I was like, whoa, like, like, right, like, three months after the Wilder fight, I saw a fight. I was like, that ain't him. But, yeah, sure as that was. 
Um, but, you know, the, it's like, beca- the question really becomes, and this question was posed to me, so I'm posing it in, in back in a different way, like, okay, so you wouldn't give AJ more credit for what he did to Melina than what, ha- what, what Wilder did to Melina? Was, was, you know... What's his fate? It was AJ stumbling all over the ring numerous times, like about on the verge of getting KO'd at any moment by a fucking C minus level fighter. Because the one who fought AJ was only C level. You want to call him C plus? It, that's the best case scenario. He ain't no B minus fucking fighter, man. He ain't no B minus heavyweight. That's like a Spilka. You know, Spilka's like a B minus, right? Molina is fucking C. Um, but, yeah, so, okay. Uh, AJ sparks out a better version, a, a much better version um, of Carlos Molina. Uh, does it in much, much better fashion Uh, they both fought him in their hometowns so you can't use well he was on the road for both of them Um, he definitely came to win this fight I don't know about the fucking you know Wilder one that one was extremely weird I've never seen someone have someone out on their feet numerous times and not swarm all the fuck over them, especially when he has done it every single time in his career, and any time ever anybody he's ever hurt, he goes ham on them. Watch his fights; it's what he does. Why didn't he do it versus fucking uh, uh, a Wilder? Don't be like, oh, he was scared to get clipped. I mean, I guess that's a theory, but why ain't he ever scared he'll get clipped versus someone else? You know. If you got wild or hurt, okay, you put your fucking gloves up real high, get inside, you know, push your shoulder up against them, you know, push them back a bit, wham, fight's over, you know, or just hands up real high, lunge in, boom, left hook, fight's over, you know, uh, I don't want to, there's no, oh, wow, he might have gotten clamped. You know, well, Wilder's accuracy ain't that fucking good anyway. And if he's all fucking loopy, I really don't think he's going to land something on you. Anything that's going to matter, you know. But, so, what I'm understanding is that all knockout wins are equal. Is what I'm really, is what I gathered from, from all of that. Um, so, would, would Anthony Joshua's knockout win over Molina be classified in the exact same category as Wilder's knockout win over uh, Carlos Molina. You know? Better version, better performance, three rounds, excellent fucking performance and never hurt. Nine rounds, hurt like a motherfucker, numerous times, horrid version of Carlos Molina, and like I said, took nine fucking rounds, um, but they're equal somehow because they both ended in a knockout. I mean, that, to me, that sounds like a cop out. That sounds that really does sounds biased to me. That's some some bullshit. But what I want to know is just from people in the comment section, um, do you agree with that? Like, cause maybe I'm biased. I, I don't know. So I I, I want to know, like. Is AJ's knockout win over Molina equal to uh, Wilder's knockout win over Molina? Or is one greater than the other? And if so, if you think Wilder's is greater, tell me why. If you think uh, AJ's is greater, please tell me why. And please answer this question. Please, please answer this question. It's the most important fucking question, honestly. Because um, I'm really curious about this. Um, 
you know, it's just uh, we're really curious about it. Um, I want to know if you, you know, if they're equal. And if you think they're equal, just be like the the wins are equal, or if you know so and so's is greater, say it's greater, and this is why, you know. Um, just quick recap though, because uh, that has nothing to do with that question. It's not it's not anything. Um, the 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 combination that finished off uh, Carlos Molina um, was uh, uh, I got it written down right here. Uh, uh, he 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 had uh, he had a heart, you know. He hit him with a big right. He went down. He got up. He cracked him with a jab. Cracked him with a right hook, no left hook. Okay. Then he hit him with a a straight right. Boom. And he that's this is where it was low masked because cracked him with the left hook, right. And now remember what's his face? Let him run under there. He didn't do that. He actually hit him with the left hook. He Loma let. Rocky go under and then turn and say whack, you know, whack. Um, but no, no, he actually hit him with the left hook, hit him with the right. But then when he hit him with the right, he went, his head went down and he put his hand like, you know, on a, his forearm on the back of his head, moved his position and then went, you know, put his hands up and was like, boom, motherfuckers, head looked like it was about to go in the third row. It said, Boom! Flew up, and when it came back down, he was already cocking for the second one, and just went boom! Back straight back into it again. Yo, it was so fucking dope. And then he caught him again with the third one, and instead of it coming down again on the fourth one, he he pushed it up so he could like hit it with a straight right, as it's you know coming down. It would be like boom and take him the fuck out he got fucked up and that's some like Loma-esque shit to me go watch that because I got like the DVR you know you just hit play uh, you right before you right before the combo starts just hit play and then hit uh, pause it you know you hit play again to pause it um, and then you hit the arrow on the right it, or you if you hit it on the left it slow mos it in reverse if you hit the one going like forward fast forward just once just hit it once It'll go in slow motion, forward. Watch that whole combo in slow motion. Oh, it's fucking beautiful, beautiful. But then the ref jumped in and stopped it. And you know, I, I got some complaints about Frosh here as a commentator. I'm not getting into him. The video's too long, but I don't like Frosh as a commentator. And I got numerous fucking reasons to back that that shit up. Um, maybe I'll talk about that another time, but. Dude should not be a fucking commentator. Um, 18 straight KOs for motherfucking uh, Wilder. 18 fucking KOs. 18 KOs and he's nowhere near his prime yet. Nowhere. He hasn't hit his prime yet. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. You know? But AJ, Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko. Um, at Wembley Stadium on uh, April 29th. You lucky sons of guns, man. I really want to go there so fucking bad. Um, oh, my God, I want to go. I want to go so bad. I'm, like, really, really thinking of going. I mean, it's April. I can totally go if I want to. Um, that's more than enough time to give a heads up. Uh... Oh, man. But, yeah, they got the vacant W. Because when he said unification, I'm like, huh? Who, what, what, what fucking belts, uh, what, 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 what belts are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about, unification? So I go to Box Rec, all right, and it said, you know, IBF, obviously, Anthony Joshua, and then vacant WBA super world title. So they got the WBA to put the, uh, WBA super title up vacant one um you know uh Klitschko's like original ass old fucking belt he's he has a chance to get it back and fucking Parker man dude he, he he can barely beat he barely beat Ruiz that shit was a draw or could have went either way they need the rematch and if fucking Ruiz loses 
fucking 15 pounds of fat and just puts on 10 pounds of fucking muscle, he beats the fuck out of, out of Joe Parker. Um, they're, they ain't shit. Man. I'm just, I'm, I know there's a bunch of Joseph Parker fans. He ain't shit. I just watched that fight and I thought, I mean, he's, he, he's never impressed me ever. Never impressed me. Um, he will get the shit beat out of him by like the Luis Ortiz's. Um, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua will break his fucking head open. Um, him and Deontay Wilder would be a good one. Honestly, they're both like similar level opponents. <laughs> Put it that way. Make it. I'll be nice. But she got two gold medalists with Klitschko and uh, Anthony Joshua, like they were talking about. Two Olympic gold medalists. And it is truly, truly the, the young lion with, without a doubt, the best chance to take over this era and be like the Lennox Lewis of this era, the Mike Tyson, and the you know Holyfield, or one of those. Like he's he's gonna be the fucking man of this era. He has a great chance to be. He could turn out to be Michael Grant. Who knows? I don't think he's no fucking Michael Grant though. That's just no way in hell. Um, he's gonna beat the fuck out of everyone. Everyone, everyone, it's that simple. Um, watch and see, watch and learn, you know, watch and learn. Um, but it's really cool, you know, they, uh, it's, I'm glad they got the uh, uh, WBA um, super title on the line because we need as many titles as we can to get into one person's hand like they were. Um, and I'm pretty sure the winner of this will be Lineal, you know, I'm pretty sure. I mean, who's better than these two? If Fury's gone, Klitschko's number one. Because there ain't no one else fucking fucking with him. You know what I mean? And who's the second best heavyweight out there? Anthony Joshua. So the winner of them, I mean, that that should be the, the new lineage right there. You know? Or the, or, the, or the winner of them has to fight uh, Wilder. Or uh, Joseph Parker or whatever, and then the lineage starts, something like that, as long as motherfuckers all sign contracts that they guarantee they're going to fight and stop and not being bitches. But that'd be great, you know? Um, I mean, it's, it's a young lion versus, you know, uh, the past king. You know, the past king, man. And... Uh... Vladimir Klitschko right now has a chance to be, let me see here, I believe it's only five uh, heavyweights who have ever regained the lineal championship. Uh, wait, 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 back twice because he's only ever been the lineal champ once and it was for that long ass stretch. Before that, he was not the lineal champ. Um, Lennox Lewis was. And then Vitaly, yeah, fucked it all done. Klitschko. So, yeah, he's only been lineal one. He'll have the chance to join the club of being a lineal champ two different uh, two different times. It's, it's, it's been done a few times before. I um, mean, the fucking first, obviously, Ali did it three, and, you know, Evander Holyfield did it, uh, Lennox Lewis did it, um, who the fuck else did it, um, maybe that's it, as a matter of fact, did Riddick Bo maybe do it, no, 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 uh, -huh. Mike Tyson definitely didn't do it, Mike Tyson was lineal champ, but I he didn't do it twice, even though unified belts, I don't think that they, that that counted. No, no, I didn't. Lennox. Yeah, 
Holy Field, Linux. Uh, Let's go three. Uh, Muhammad Ali four. And um, if I'm missing someone, then he'd be the sixth. He's either he's either gonna be the fifth or the sixth person to ever uh, be able to regain the lineal heavyweight championship back. Okay. That's an exclusive motherfucking club. That's why there's humongous significance in this fight. Okay, I'm sorry it took so long trying to count there in my head. But that's why there's huge significance in this fight. Huge. Because that's like, God, that's going down in fucking history. Um, yeah, and or it's, uh, the, you get to watch a, a new champ get crowned lineal champion of the world you know it's that simple um the heavyweight champion of the world the baddest dude on the earth you know and it'd be a respectable heavyweight to what this is what we need for boxing we act like i hate to say that we need aj to win you know i'm cool with tom i know tom reps you know, Klitschko and shit, but we need motherfucking AJ to win to help boxing because that motherfucker brings so much money and he'll travel. Um, he'll, you know, other guys can get up on his undercards. You know, he'll have an exciting, he fights like a true fighter. He don't fight like a bitch. He don't fucking grab. He don't foul. He don't headbutt. He don't low blow. He's an honorable fighter, someone to respect, uh, a, a true fucking G, and he is a pound for pound fighter, like has a pound for pound skill set, is what I mean by that. Obviously, he ain't on the pound for pound list yet, but he he has a pound for pound skill set, all right. Remember. Are all knockouts created equal? Whose knockout is greater and why? Wilder's over Molina. Uh, AJ's over Molina. Whose knockout is greater and why? Please take the time to go into the comment section and answer that. Please. Please. The more detailed, the better. Um, I need to understand this whole thing. Maybe my process of thinking is fucked up, or maybe I'm dead fucking right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. I don't know. I need to, 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 to hear some people's thoughts on this. And an AJ video should get eh, people from everywhere, so. And a clip go and all that, so whatever, you know. Uh, anything else I talked about, asked about, uh, whatever. You know, I cannot wait for fucking AJ Klitschko, man. Like, that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, give me your thoughts, man. And please a answer the any questions I ask throughout this. And give me your thoughts on anything I talked about, man. You know, uh, about a AJ, you know, being... Is, is, you think he's as good as I do? Or do you spot weaknesses? Please let me know. You know, um, anyway, Thunder Dome Boxing Talk, man. Peace.